Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy, and today I'm really excited to be sharing a really special book with you. This was a book that I requested and received from Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them for sending me this review title. And it is called Into the Ice, Reflections on Antarctica by Alison Lester and Coral Tulloch. One, the book itself is just stunning, but even just the way that it has been produced, the actual cover of the book has texture to it. The title is debossed, but the actual book itself, and I don't know how well it's gonna come across on screen but there is a texture and it just feels utterly gorgeous and it follows all the way around the back. So Alison Lester and Coral Tulloch are both authors and illustrators who had the opportunity or have had the opportunity to travel to Antarctica and it's a book about their reflections on that. So this is quite a large book, it is a non-fiction title and this is a book that is their reflection and their journey to and through Antarctica and it looks at the history of Antarctica and it includes photos and sketches and artwork that they created along the way. So it's very much a visual journal of their experiences and I'm just going to read a little bit about the start just to set the scene. So at the very start of the book it says we have visited Antarctica many times first as arts fellows with the Australian Antarctic Division and later on expedition ships taking tourists south. Antarctica inspires people to create incredible things and share the wonder of the continent with the world. I've always been deeply fascinated by Antarctica. I think it's one of those places that just seems so unreal. So it's kind of a continent that just holds so much Mystery. So I think what Alison and Coral have done with this visual journal is just extraordinary. It explains the journey and how they travel and the things that come up along their journey as well as facts about the animals that they encounter along the way and the history of the travel and the exploration of Antarctica and then you know the photos that are captured as well. I actually really struggle with words to describe this because I think it is just so beautiful and if you are at all interested in Antarctica, the history, what it's like now, what it's like to travel there, I think this is a really gorgeous book to add to your collection. It, yes, it's a picture book and yes, it's a non-fiction child, children's picture book, but it's so much more than that. It's like this would be a perfect co coffee table book for anyone who is even remotely interested in Antarctica, in Antarctica because everything is presented in such a beautiful way. I mean... Just look at this art piece that they've created. <laughs> like it's, it's stunning. It really, really is. I know this wasn't very coherent because mostly I'm just in love with this book. Like I, I think it's such a special book and a beautiful way to share the experiences of two people who traveled there through their artwork, but also through the knowledge that they've built over time. And it's a great way to captivate anyone's attention. So thank you again to the publisher. I am very deeply appreciative to have received a copy of this. It's beautiful and I will be keeping it forever. In the comments I would love to know have you read any of Alison Lester or Coral Tulloch's work before or even have you been to Antarctica because I'm totally jealous if you have. If you're even remotely interested I would highly recommend checking out this book as a, as a collector's book if nothing else. If you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment feel free to leave an Antarctica flag emoji which I did not know existed until I started looking up kind, the kinds of emojis that I could ask people to leave for this book. Otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you are, you are staying otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.